Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, I am accompanied by an Easy Bake Oven. I didn't know Easy Bake Ovens looked like this. This is so futuristic looking. I remember mine, I think was the 90s Easy Bake Oven. I'll put a picture in. I loved my Easy Bake Oven so much. Oh my goodness. I made such a mess of my Easy Bake Oven. When you would look in the slot, you would just see like dried, burnt cake. But it was amazing. I was reading an article that said Easy Bake Ovens got discontinued this year. Is this true? So basically, I was watching cake videos as I do, and I've seen so many people play with the Easy Bake Oven. One video in particular caught my attention, and it was the icing artist made a mini wedding cake with her Easy Bake Oven, and I was like, so that's what we're doing today. Except not a wedding cake. I'm just gonna make a three tier fun cake. I actually have these cookie cutters, which are gonna work perfect. This is going to be the size of our cake. Practice makes perfect. Effort is great. And I am excited to eat this cake in one bite. So let's begin. Before we get into this, we have to do the donation portion really quick. Let's pick a charity. The Make-A-Wish Foundation. I mean, this charity was commented so, so much. This is a great charity. I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably heard about Make-A-Wish, but here's what they write on their website. Make-A-Wish works with communities across the country to provide children with critical illnesses the opportunity to realize their most heartfelt wish. So an amazing charity. That's gonna be the charity for today's video. Now let's get into the Easy Bake Oven. Okay, for starters, I'm gonna turn this on because I think it needs to preheat. It's weird because the one I used to have had a little window where you could watch the cakes baking. This one, they just go into this machine and then I can't check on them. Okay, in our Easy Bake Oven, we're gonna be making this Betty Crocker Super Moist Chocolate Fudge Cake Box. Now, one day, very soon. I will stop making cake boxes and start making cakes from scratch. I'm always surprised with how much oil are in these cakes. Should I try and one hand it? Oh my gosh, I'm actually so impressed. I don't think I've ever done that before. I honestly have the goal for this video that I eat the entire little mini cake in one bite. It just feels funny to put like four hours of work into a little mini cake and then eat it in one bite. So I wanna do that. Okay, to the side. Okay, here are the tools that come with the Easy Bake Oven. We have this, which is like what you push the cake in with, and then I think what you grab the cake with, and also one tray. Now, I don't know why, but I thought I would buy a few more trays, but <laughs> I didn't check the size, so we'll do for sure too. And then we're actually, get this, I never layer my cakes and you guys always comment about that. Well, today is the first day we're gonna try and layer the cakes. And what an amazing day to try that when the cakes are this big. Cause the last thing I want is my cake sticking. It's time to fill the tray. The Easy Bake Oven is preheated. I don't know how full to fill this. Like not even a clue, but I know that this was a problem when I was a kid, filling these way too full. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm having weird flashbacks to when I was like seven years old doing this on like a Saturday morning. I can remember it so vividly. Mm, this is scary. Okay, my Easy Bake Oven has preheated for 20 minutes and now I'm going to push it in. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. How do you know? How do I know when it's in good enough? I think it's good. Oh my gosh. It's, it's cooking. <laughs> Everyone remain calm. It smells like it's burning. I need to see. What does it look like? It doesn't even, it doesn't look like I cannot see it. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. You know what I'm just realizing? You know, I was actually starting to feel like it was going a little bit too smoothly. I was wondering if something would happen. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh no, it's too tall. It's way too tall. This is exactly what used to happen. Okay, I have it, but it's so tall. <gasps> Give me my cake. Oh no, get out of there. Get out of there. Oh no, no. Bad things are happening right now. My Easy Bake Oven is full of cake. Oh, <laughs> there's cake everywhere. Okay, that actually doesn't look too bad. When I show it like that, 
it's not too bad, but I kind of want to try again. Just because I feel like I didn't push it in enough. Okay, I'm gonna guess it's already like preheated enough. I just grabbed this fresh out of the oven and it's not even that hot. That could have been really bad, okay. So like not full at all. Now I'm gonna push it in far enough this time. Oh my gosh, I think I'm pushing it all the way out. Oh gosh, go back in, go back, go back. Okay, good enough. So now I gotta go in and try and get this. Hey, come here. I see you. Hey. Oh my gosh, is this not ready? Why is everything so, why does everything go so high up? Look at it, it's scraped. I mean, it feels done, I think. Not really, not really. I have this one down here and this one, we'll be able to make something work. Okay, this has been some movie magic. I actually just got back from my natural path appointment and I have to go off sugar <laughs> for an entire month. And blood work which I just did five minutes ago. So this is gonna be my last living it up. But okay, these were in the fridge the whole time. So they're cold now. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so I just made these little cake plates because usually you would put your cake on a little board. So I made those. And this is when we're gonna do this little cookie cutter. So let's do it. I almost feel like that might even be thick enough if I cut those all in half. Oh my gosh, it's so small. It's like hard to use my fingers. Okay, I'm gonna put my test subjects in here. They're the ones I'll be working with. <gasps> I just ripped this one in half. Now I know this knife may seem overkill, but I need to cut these in half. so funny. I actually was initially, when I was planning this video, I was gonna make a dog cake, like a dog safe cake, um, but I didn't. So if you guys wanna see that, we could definitely make one. But here are our pieces. Now we must ice them. <sighs> I only have these giant spatulas. Oh my gosh, this is not going to end very well. Oh my gosh, this is so difficult. It's so small. So I have this big tub of icing. Pretty excited about it. Mm. So good. Got a new metal spinning tray. Ooh. Firstly, by taping this little plate to the spinning turntable thing. You guys told me this would make my life a lot easier, so I'm listening to you guys. And then you also said if I put down a little bit of icing, it'll kind of act as glue. So again, I'm listening to you guys. You guys are the experts. So I'm just gonna put that down. It is so small, I feel ridiculous. Oh my gosh, the icing's like a little bit too cold. I'm just gonna warm up a bit of icing just cause I don't wanna rip up any of the cake. Oh yeah, that's warm now. Let's go ahead and just do the icing in the center. Now this is my first time doing layers. I don't know why I chose today for the first time, but I did. <laughs> it's so cute. Now I'm gonna do a little like Icing coating. Oh my gosh. I just have to be patient. Oh my gosh. I actually feel like that looks pretty good. It moved around a fair bit on the plate, but like not bad. Here is what my crumb coating looks like. This is the biggest piece, so I'm a little bit concerned. Right on top of the pickles. I'm obsessed with caking. I love it. So fun, so tasty. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> All right, crumb coating. Oh my gosh, this is so small. It's moving around so much, oh my gosh. I can confirm, this is definitely harder on the smaller one. <laughs> Are those dental tools? Don't be shy. Didn't want to bust in, but we have science tools for these. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That'll be good. Oh. <laughs> that one was a lot harder. And I kind of made a mess of the plate, but it's okay. Okay, here's the medium layer. Now we have to do the smallest layer. Oh my gosh. They look so ridiculously cute in there. By the way, it's okay that I'm licking my hands a bunch because I will be the one eating these. So don't be scared. Time to do the smallest one. Feels a little too thick on the bottom. Hold on. <laughs> there, that's better. Oh 
my gosh. Okay, that's as good as that one's gonna get, I think. It's a good enough crumb coating. This one's really hard. It's like so small. All right, here's that top layer. In comparison to my thumb, here's how big it is. So yeah, I don't really know what to do, but I feel like a very safe bet is a light pink. So light pink, almost white. So I'm just gonna do one drop of this red food coloring. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're doing a red cake today, apparently. Okay, let me just see what I just did. Maybe this will be the answer. OMG, you guys, look what I just did. That came out a lot quicker than I was expecting it to. That's not what I want. No. Hold on for just a minute. I'm just gonna grab some new icing. <sighs> that was stressful. I feel tempted to put sparkly pink in here. Is this a bad idea? Probably, oh well. I'm doing it. Ooh. I'm just basically gonna coat these again. Oh my gosh, this one's gonna be way easier because it's actually stuck down. All right, that's as good as I can get this. It's so flat in my opinion. Oh my gosh, whoa, who's impressed? That's not bad. That was also the easiest one. Oh my gosh, I can't handle this. I can't handle it. It's also getting dark out now. It's very late. Last one, let's do this. No turning back now. I'm very afraid for this next part. I have to stack the cakes. I just don't want to ruin them now. Oh, I cannot get over this, but I'm scared because I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to cut them off. Maybe like this. This is what I would do with a normal cake. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Honestly, putting things in the freezer helped so much. Like, thank you for telling me that I should be doing that. I never would have thought, I wouldn't have thought. Hope hard, people. <gasps> oh my gosh, we have a three-tier mini cake. Yes, we do. Oh my gosh, I didn't put icing in between the layers. I feel like it'll be okay. Let's just push it down a little. Stay on there. <gasps> what am I doing? I'm so stupid. Oh my gosh, go in the fridge. Go in the fridge. Stay in there and don't do anything silly. Okay, so we got that leveled. I put like a little tip on here. I'll show you it. There's so little icing in here, but let me just test and see. I'll test it on my hand so I can eat it. Whoa, that was not what I was expecting, to be honest. I don't like this tip. I need to swap the tip. Okay, for real this time. It's way too warm. What is up? Go in there. Sorry, excuse me. I just need to let that cool. Ah, the freezer the pan like just fell down. Get in there. Okay, let's do this. I want to start with the top. It's gotta go in the fridge. Gosh, this is getting another frozen banana flying out. Let's just finish it up before we ruin something. A little bit of glitter for safety. Now, specifically placed sprinkles. Gosh, this is literally the leaning tower of cakes right now. Oh, but I think that we might be done. I almost feel like I should do one more little swirl on the top. I know it's a bad idea, but I'm doing it anyways because I don't know when to stop. <laughs> I just had to do it. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the freezer and then we're gonna eat it. All right, you guys, here it is. We did it. We made a mini three tier, I guess maybe not a wedding cake, but like I would happily have this at my wedding, a light pink. It honestly reminds me of the strawberry 
pink poodle webkin. That is this cake. I feel a little bit crazy. I've been baking all day, you know, eating sugar literally all day. But we did it. The Easy Bake Oven cooked it up. I really want to do more videos with the Easy Bake Oven. So let me know if you'd like to see that. But this is the only shot we're going to get of this. I'm going to eat this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> the chocolate cake is so yummy on the inside, oh my gosh. Well, this video was a success. I have nothing to show for it now except this half-eaten miniature cake. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>